Today I'm going to be doing some penny alchemy, which is a relatively common chemistry demonstration where we take everyday copper pennies and change them into silver and gold. I'm going to be using these fancy 2010 pennies with the new backing uh, because they're the shiniest that I have. So anyways, to start, uh, I've got about 50 milliliters of water here and I'm going to dissolve some sodium hydroxide in it. Uh, this is not going to be a particularly rigorous experiment because you don't really need uh, any particular amounts of anything. So I'm just going to be doing uh, sort of a bit of this, a dash of that type chemistry. So what we want is just a basic solution here of sodium hydroxide. And uh, while that's dissolving, what we're going to do is add some zinc powder to it. Um, and that that will react once this thing is heated, it'll react uh, to form sodium zincate in solution. Uh, and so those that basically provides zinc ions in solution. Uh, and then I'll be dropping the pennies into that solution and the zinc will plate onto the pennies, turning them silver colored. So it's not really silver and gold, but uh, it looks like it. So we'll just let this dissolve and then I'll put it on the hot plate and move to the next step. So I've transferred my sodium hydroxide solution to a petri dish that I've put on top of my uh, butane burner and to that I've added some zinc powder uh, and so now all I'm going to do is drop in a couple of these pennies and make sure that they're touching the zinc powder. There has to be contact between the copper and the zinc metals for this to work. So uh, now all we need to do is heat this uh, until near boiling and leave it there for a couple of minutes and that should effectively plate these pennies in zinc. So we'll come back to it when that's happening. Okay, I've had this heating for a couple of minutes and the pennies now look fairly silver, so we're gonna take them out and uh, just dunk them in some water to rinse them off. So here's what they look like after they've been washed and cleaned of all the uh, excess zinc dust. You can see it's a really beautiful silver looking color. Now I said it was silver and of course this is actually just a zinc plating on top. So because uh, pennies are actually uh, a zinc slug coated in copper, what we have is essentially a piece of zinc plated in copper, now plated in zinc again. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is change these silver pennies to gold pennies. And to do that, all I need to do is heat it. So now to turn our silver pennies into gold ones, all we need to do is simply heat it. And what this is going to do is cause the zinc to diffuse into the copper and actually form brass, uh, specifically yellow brass. Uh, and that's going to cause the color to change uh, pretty rapidly into a nice gold. And you can see it happening now. You don't want to heat it too much because the inside of this is actually zinc, so it might melt. But see, now we've got this beautiful golden color. Uh, it might still be a little bit red from the copper, so all we need to do is quench it. Drop it in some regular water. And we can see the beautiful gold color is apparent. And we are left with a gorgeous golden penny. And there you have it. That's how you take pennies from copper to silver to gold. Or more accurately, from copper to zinc to brass. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.